Hi, this is Paul Carlson, CPA. This video will show you how to run an income statement and balance sheet from ProLaw. The income statement and balance sheet are behind the journals page. They are not on the reports page. So let's open up journals. The next step is to select the month and year we want to run the financial statements for. Yeah, it is 2016. I'm using sample data that has most transactions in 2010. So we select May 2010, run the query, make sure it updates. And then here we click on print financial statements. And so here's the big mystery. The page is blank. To see the financial statements, right click on the statements you want to review and click preview. And now ProLaw will bring up the statement. So here we have the income statement. I'm using a sample database. So the header and footer are missing from the income statement. Balance sheet's in a little better shape, so we'll go preview. So here we have the company name, we have the statement title, but what's missing is the date of the balance sheet, which is required under official CPA rules. If we look down in the footer, we can see the month and the year. And so here we can see the financial, the balance sheet as of May 2010, that this only appears when you select the month and the date on the journals page. Okay, and so that's how you run an income statement and balance sheet from ProLaw. Below this video are links to our other ProLaw quick tip videos and a link for contacting my CPA firm if you would like help with your ProLaw accounting. Thanks. Bye.